You're the workers on the ground, you're the people that are doing the business in your own communities. That's what's got us selected. <coughs> Consistency and hard work, and you've done it for us. We appreciate it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
on behalf of the leadership of Sinn Féin, I'd like to thank each and every one of you who worked hard in this election. This is an absolutely fantastic result, getting Mark elected and Sean Paul. We're still waiting on Jack to see how he does, but <laughs> I think it'll be all right. But seriously, when you look at the election results in Dublin, the tremendous successes that we've had, we look at the results in Cork, in Monaghan, in Wexford, in Meath, in Sligo, and Mitchell McLaughlin's result on Monday in the North, you can clearly see that Sinn Féin have fought these elections as the only all-Ireland political party in them. It's a very important fact, and it's very important that people understand the power of their vote. And I think this has been a tremendous achievement. And seriously speaking, gives us the opportunity, because we know we have a solid foundation to build on this, so that there will be, we can say with a degree of confidence, more Sinn Féin TDs elected at the next general election to join with Weaving O'Keelan. And you could actually have a situation where you have Sinn Féin and government in the north and government in the south. That's a realistic possibility. And of course, the whole Good Friday Agreement and the work that we're doing within all of that, there's a certain logic. And the logic is that the, the, the division which has existed on this island has to end. The British government have to live up to their responsibilities. We have to get the Good Friday Agreement implemented and we need to move forward knowing that ending division on this island will ultimately lead to the reunification of Ireland. There's no question or doubt about that. In between times, a lot of work has to be done by Sinn Féin representatives because we're not just a single issue party dealing with the issue of national unity. We're a party that does care about the lives of ordinary people. We do care about the drug situation. We care about the living conditions under which our people uh, have to live. We, we care about transport. We care about <coughs> infrastructure, roads, the economy and employment. And we now have clearly broken through in a fairly massive way all over this island. The ball is now rolling. We have to keep it rolling, and next time out, I am absolutely certain we are going to build on this result today, and we are going to have Jack Crow and maybe Mark Daly elected as TDs in the future. Yeah. Yeah. We shouldn't forget uh, John McLean and Illness Law. I want you to give three cheers. Hey. Gallery. <laughs> 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 All right. 